What's up YouTube and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the raid intel skips on Critical, Regular and Low for the raid starting on the 21st of March running through to the 27th of March, which is Project Titan Week 174. Also you may have noticed that we now give out the black box locations across all of the raids as well, which will hopefully mean you'll continue to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, or even gift us a slice of pizza using the link in the description because all of your support really does motivate us to make these early raid intel videos, which allows you to quickly complete the raids and collect the black boxes as soon as the Project Titan week begins. Plus, as a slight change for next week, we have a guest speaker joining us, so hopefully you'll be there to enjoy that as well. Starting with Critical, the modifiers this week will be Darkest Night, Realistic Reload, and Three Hearts. And using the intel skips you'll need to begin by grabbing one intel from the abandoned site to the west of Gollum Island, known as the Fishing Village. Once you have that you can input the password into the node at the top of Chemical Pipeline, which will open up the circle for Bow at Chemical Refinery. After you beat the Tank Titan you can head into Sector 2. Gargoyle requires two intels at Salamander, then the interrogation of the Sniper at Camp Phoenix, and lastly inputting the password he gives you into the node at testing zone. And supercomputer just requires the four nodes at missile site ruins to be pressed together. Once you've beaten gargoyle at testing zone and supercomputer at the building in the sea, you can move into sector three. Cerberus just requires the hack and defend of the node at Scandium Mine. This will unlock the last Titan boss battle at the top of Lava Shield where you can complete the critical raid. And if you're looking for the black boxes on critical this week, there are two boxes in Sector 1, the first is at Satellite Dish and the other is at Chemical Pipeline. Then there'll be two more boxes in Sector 2, the first is at Camp Phoenix and the other is at Missile Site Ruins. And finally there are two boxes in Sector 3, the first at Scandium Mine with the other being at No Man's Land. In summary the modifiers are likely to cause some bother this week because Darkest Night tends to frustrate the majority of our fans. And on top of that, Realistic Reload can easily chew through your ammo, especially if you reload a 100 round clip that's only fired a few bullets. As for the other modifier, 3 hearts, hopefully this won't affect most players, but if it does affect you while you're collecting intel, remember you can always quit the raid and rejoin to avoid the wait. As for the intel trail, it's a little longer than last week's raid, but overall isn't too bad, mainly because the Sector 3 intel is only one task. Although it's worth bearing in mind that if you squad wipe after entering Sector 3 and before the hack is complete at Scandium Mine, you will be required to do the full intel for Cerberus. That said, you can attempt to quit the raid as a squad and re-enter back at the Sector 3 checkpoint. However, please note that this can sometimes erase your progress, so only do this at your own discretion. And remember, if you do have any problems during your raid, please comment below and we'll try to help out so you can finish it and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular and low, there are no modifiers and it does just use last week's critical intel. So begin by pressing the four nodes at Ancient Harbour. This will give you access to bow at the chemical refinery and beating this boss will allow you to advance into sector two. Gargoyle requires five panels at Camp Phoenix to be destroyed before you can fight the flying titan at testing zone and Supercomputer will need one intel at Salamander before defending the node at the back of Testing Zone. Now you can fight Quantum at the building in the sea. With both Titans in Sector 2 destroyed, you can progress into Sector 3. For Cerberus you'll need to press four nodes at Lava Duct, which although locked can be accessed a number of different ways, with our favourite being to team wipe at the wall to the left of Lava Duct's western gate. However you choose, once you press the four nodes at Lava Duct, you'll have access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular and low raids. And if you're looking for the raid chests, or black boxes on regular and low this week, there is one box in Sector 1, which is at the Heliport. Then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first at Camp Phoenix and the other at Testing Zone. And finally, there's two more boxes in Sector 3, the first at Scandium Mine, with the other being at Prototype Workshop. That's all for now. We hope you've enjoyed our Intel and Black Box video enough to leave a like and comment, plus subscribe or give some pizza if you haven't already. 
but no pressure because it's all of your support combined that motivates us to make our content. So until next time, with our guest speaker, peace out, the unlucky lads.